Hello YouTube. Uh, my previous video was about uh, the Wi-Fi antenna and the Yagi antenna. And uh, I told that I was going to rebuild my Yagi antenna because I didn't drill the holes uh, the correct way. The holes were too big. I didn't use my drill press. So it was all crooked and it didn't it didn't work very well. So I've rebuilt it. I made a new boom for the Yagi antenna. This is the old boom. You can see what a mess it is. I had to hot glue the elements, but that wasn't a very big success. It didn't work very well. So I redid it and uh, this time I used my drill press. Uh, I didn't have a drill press before so uh, now I could use the right tools. And a 1 16th drill bit. And you can find those drill bits in the, in the, in the Dremel tools section. Oh look, I have a visitor. A little birdie. Back to the antenna. <laughs> and now it is straight. It is very, very straight. I also uh, made it USB connected. This is the connection for the dipole. I thought that I would show it very good so people can see how it's connected and it doesn't really matter where you put ground and where you put the, the lead cable you can do it on the left or you can do it on the right it doesn't matter so this is the folded dipole connected with the cable in this case the ground cable is on the left and the lead cable is on the right and now I follow the cable I have glued it with hot glue and here is my adjusted USB stick that I had laying around for years and I never got it to work properly but this time I put more effort in it and it's not the most beautiful connection but it works. I will try to get it clear. It's a bit difficult because I'm very close and zoomed in. It's very tiny, tiny connection. It took a while to get it connected. But th this is the connection on the USB stick. It's always different because different brands of USB sticks have different uh, antennas inside. But there is a video how to hack a USB stick. You have to scratch the internal antenna from the circuit board. So you have to cut with a knife or something like that. So that this uh, circuit board layout antenna uh, let's see if I can point it with my finger over there you see that copper that's the internal antenna you have to disconnect it and you do that just by scratching with a knife or a screwdriver but be very careful because it's very tiny and this was a very difficult to uh, connect because the wire from the cable is too thick to get inside the hole but I adjusted the wire with a, a file and some sandpaper so it would fit and then I soldered it to the circuit board well it works it's not beautiful but it works so this is the USB connection and now I have an active Yagi antenna 
And this is the Cantena, the Cantena version that I made. And uh, it's not bad, uh, you don't hear me complain, it works very well. But I have to admit that the Yagi Antenna is better. Uh, although it's a little bit more uh, sensitive for uh, the direction you pointed at. So you have to aim it a little bit better, but the benefit is that you get less noise and less interference, so your connection is better. And uh, this is the 15 element uh, Yagi antenna. And this time it is very straight. All the pins are on the same level. And uh, it works very, very, very well. It works really well. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's also a lot smaller. And uh, I made this uh, simple uh, stand so I can put it on, on a cheap tripod. And uh, I can point it in any direction I want. But I will keep the, the antenna close to it. And as you can see, the Yagi antenna is a lot smaller. But it still works better. And uh, now that I have this one working very very well I'm going to make another Yagi antenna but with more elements and uh, that gives me even more gain and uh, even better connection although it is very good signal strength is uh, most of the time it is 100% uh, uh, and uh, if you're a little bit crafty and you want to build an antenna I can recommend the Yagi antenna although it is a little bit more labor intensive especially uh, creating the elements that's the most time consuming job but it's uh, not too difficult and the wire is just standard household 14 gauge wire in the metric system that is 1.6 millimeter I believe uh, in diameter and uh, it's also called two and a half quadrat in Dutch but uh, I'm very happy with it it works very very good better than my antenna that I can guarantee I'm not gonna show you because uh, you can take my word for it. I've been experimenting uh, with these types of antennas for several years now and uh, uh, I'm not gonna tell you something that, it, that isn't true. So this is the old boom. Uh, one advice, if you're gonna use a similar wooden boom as I did, don't drill the holes in the middle because then you have a problem with the folded dipole. It's uh, better that the folded dipole sticks out from the boom so you can connect the wires. So as you can see I drilled the holes at the top of the boom. You can take any kind of boom you want as long as it is not uh, as, as long as it is not made of metal or something like that. You can make it from metal but then you have to isolate the folded dipole from the boom. And if you use a wooden be beam boom or, uh, or acrylic or plastic you don't have that problem. You don't have to insulate the folded dipole. Well folks, this is it. I'm gonna build another Yagi antenna but uh, with more elements. Uh, I think I'm gonna build it with 22 elements. And uh, again, 
the website where you can find the instructions on how to build this type of antenna it's not my website but I will put it down below the video in the description section so you can uh, do the same as I did and uh, there are some videos at YouTube that will explain how to uh, hack this type of USB Wi-Fi adapters the benefit from a USB uh, adapter is that you have no loss in signal uh, from this point because that is data trans transmission you have a little bit of signal loss from here to here but that is minimal uh, but you don't have any any signal loss from this point with this antenna this is not an active USB antenna this is directly connected to my uh, Wi-Fi adapter inside my PC you will have signal loss uh, through the cable so that's another benefit from the Yagi antenna and I can connect the Yagi antenna to any PC or laptop that I want I can take it anywhere and it work, will work always with any type of computer as long as, as I have the software for, for uh, the USB stick and that is not a problem too because the, the brand of this USB stick is Swix but the chipset is from Rarlink and uh, I once used another type of wireless Wi-Fi adapter USB and that had Rarlink, uh, Rarlink software and that software was still on my computer and when I installed the USB stick I let my PC search for the software and it installed the Rarlink software it was no problem and it works perfect it, I have no problems at all so uh, Mr. Collier the one who helped me with this Yagi Antera he doesn't know he helped me but he created the website with all the information I want to thank you and uh, I'm very happy with it and uh, now I'm gonna build a bigger one and it, it works absolutely fantastic I use it inside inside my house and uh, it goes through walls and I have no problems with that I don't have to put it outside so folks that's it I'll see you in the next video and give me a thumbs up if you like it Bye-bye.